A devil worshipping sinner named Bertram Cates, who teaches evolution to our impressionable youth in their classroom, and the town's valiant but eventually vanquished efforts to stop him in court. My teacher, Mr. Cates, he taught us about evolution. I'm so glad he's not going to be that teacher anymore. He was thrown in jail for all those terrible things he was saying to my son, and my son is absorbing what kinds of you know, heresy this teacher is putting in our classrooms, in our glorious state. It's about seeing my town torn apart, really torn asunder, by a man with ideals. I don't really mind as long as I keep the votes. This play is about a really evil guy. He's the devil. I'm telling you, he is the devil, okay? He's trying to get the people of our wonderful town, Hillsboro, to to become these, these, you know, weird, odd thinkers. Like, the Bible is what our book is. That's what we live by. Getting rid of this ridiculous notion that somewhere there's more to the Bible. Why do we even need children to be learning science in schools? You know, we have the Bible, and that tells them all they need to know. So for me, what this play is about is the true injustice of what happens when you let modern ideology into your town. The play is about an innocent man, Bertram Cates, who also happens to be very good looking uh, and very intelligent, who reads out of his textbook, uh, of Darwin's Origin of Species, about um, evolution. Uh, some people don't agree with his ideas on evolution, but I think he's just a little confused, is all. And Heart the Wind is, a, is about a battle between like religion and science, sort of. Um, it is a small town being shook by how, how dare this teacher teach evolution and the religious conflicts as well as the intellectual conflicts that come with that. The play is about fighting for what you believe in and making sure that people who t try to destroy the things that are important to you clearly understand that some things are not to be toyed with and that while it is important to value knowledge and progress and information and technology, those things can't and should not be allowed to override traditions and the, the beliefs and moral and ethical code that we have. I think that the play is about a man really struggling to stay true to his beliefs and to try, no matter what the circumstance, no matter who's telling him whether he's right or wrong, especially when people are telling him that he's wrong, to stand true knowing that knowledge is the most important thing and that if you really believe something is true, to hold on to it no matter what. Fighting for the right to say the truth, or at least to search for the truth, to be open-minded, to have different opinions expressed, more than one point of view. It's not about right or wrong. It's about trying to find truth and moving in that direction, and the right that we all have to do that. This play is about a bunch of very odd people who uh, cannot seem to get into their heads that there there's a difference between uh, religion and um, science, and that there's a middle there's a middle of the road for everyone who looks for it. Inherit the Wind is a play loosely based on the Scopes Monkey Trials. I am Leora Rubenstein, and I am playing Henry Drummond, defense lawyer. My name is Rachali Sharit, and I play Matthew Harrison Brady. My name is Eliza Namit. I play E.K. Hornbeck of the Baltimore Herald. Hello, my name is Shoshi Sinet, and I'm playing Rachel Brown. I'm Jordan Kaufman, and I'm playing Reverend Jeremiah Brown. My name is Leah Rose Fleischacker, and I am playing Meeker. My name is Brielle Broder, and I play the judge. Sakura Levine, Helen Blair. Hi, 
I'm Hani Grossman, and I'm playing Mrs. Blair. Hi, my name is Shane Will, and I'm playing George Sillers in the I'm Rafaeli Moskowitz, and I'm playing the mayor of Hillsboro and the radio man. Hi, I'm Ahava Sherman, and I am playing Bannister. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Bannister and storekeeper and man. My name is Devorah Melman. My characters are Melinda and the reporter. I'm Talia Cedarbaum, and I play Jesse H. Dunlap, farmer and cabinet maker. Becca Epstein, I'm playing Tom Davenport. Hi, I'm Mariella Greengard, and I play Bertram Cates. I'm Rifki Ryder, and I'm the stage manager. Ruvane Russell, artistic director of the Stern College Dramatic Society and director of Inherit the Wind, the spring play of 2017, 5,777. Going right to the title of the play, Inherit the Wind, it's taken from a verse in Proverbs written by King Solomon. And the verse, at least the beginning of the verse, translates loosely, he who troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind. Now there are many commentaries on this. One of them is that one who literally brings trouble, and trouble comes in many, many forms. One who brings trouble to his own, to his own house, to his own family, to his own surroundings can create destruction and really what's left in a pile of destruction is just the dust and the wind of that destruction and um, I think one of the things that makes this play one of the one of the classics and a, and a great play is, is what makes a lot of plays that are great great and that is it, it resonates on many different levels, um, and I think here at Stern College, once again, uh, the talent has come out and has shown itself to really uh, step up to the plate, so to speak, and really be able to uh, handle this material, this play, Inherit the Wind, where the writing is quite good, and really bring their, their, their own selves to the piece. And uh, as I've seen every year here at Stern College, they, every actor makes it personal. They make it personal.